All right, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekak Chodash Layulam Yum. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. All right, I'm going to get right into it. Um, what's on my spirit right now is to talk about how we are justified through Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we're able to repent from our sins, right? We're able to turn from our sins and try our hardest not to do it. Okay. Whatever it may be, you know, we're able to repent, man. All right. Because Yahweh Shai dying for our sins and as well as he was resurrected right by Yahweh shot dying for our sins it allowed us to do what it allowed us to become sons again to Yahweh okay we're able to become sons princes to Yahweh again because of the sacrifice that our older brother that our Lord Yahweh Shai made okay you're justified through Yahweh Shai. You know, if the Lord, see, if the Lord wanted to, he could have, um, you know, justified us through the law. But because of prophecy's sake, because of, you know, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, we were able to, you know, uh, come through Yahweh Shai and not through the law. All right. The law is perfect. It was us who were you know, imperfect. It was us that couldn't measure up to the law, you know? So the Lord had to send our older brother, Yahweh Shai, which is all because of prophecy, all right? It's all because of prophecy. You can read about some of what I'm talking about um, over in Romans chapter four, Ephesians chapter four, okay? Hey Amen. without Yahweh Shai dying for our sins and also being resurrected, we will still be yet consumed with our sins and ultimately being put to death. Okay. You know, it's the Lord himself who turned his back to our sins. It's the Lord himself who decided not to, you know, um, um, hold our sins upon us. You know, talking about the elect Lord, what I'm a part of that number. You know, the scripture says in Psalms 32, what? That that you are blessed if your sins are covered. It also says that in Revelation 2 as well, man. Okay? And how are your sins being covered? It's being covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai. That's why these people out here who's calling on Jesus, hey man, you're not utilizing the, the one key tool that you need in order to get out of this place, man. And that's Yahweh Shai. You're not utilizing that. <clears throat> you know, you calling on Jesus Christ, you calling on the most high Christ bless, you calling on several different other gods, you know, and, and you're not calling on the true power. So you're going to be left in your sins. You're not going to have that blood to cover you. What Yahweh Shai did for us was a great thing. It was a great feat. Okay. It allowed us to be brought back to our father, man. Okay? It allowed us to, uh, it allowed the Lord to look at us through Yahweh Shai. Remember, he turned his back upon us. He called us, you know, um, um, Gentiles, foreigners, right? You know, he called us strangers. Why? Because we were strange to his, his laws, his statutes, his commandments. We were strange to, you know what I'm saying, the way that the Lord dealt with things and did things. Okay, but through the blood of Yahweh Shai, now he's able to look at us, man. All right, because we're covered. Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect. The elect are covered, man. Oh, you know, and I think that's going to be the title of this lesson. You know, um, the elect are covered, or you know, uh, we're justified through Yahweh Shai. Any one of those titles, you know, is is magnificent because by us being covered, by us being justified by Yahweh Shai. We're able to receive the Father. We're able to, Salakia, we're able to um, 
um, have the Father receive us. You know? We, we, we was filthy, man. You know, all of our righteousness is counted as filthy rags, the scripture says, man. All right? But guess what? If you got that blood on you, if you if you got that spiritual mark on you, then that means what? You know, the Lord is dealing with you. The Lord um, has not imputed unto you um, um, a mind with guile. And you go into that, uh, going to that guile, that means, you know, being deceitful. Hey, man, in order to have no guile, you got to teach 100% truth, man. All right? You got to speak 100% truth. You got to tell the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay? If you out here, you know, causing discord, if you out here telling false doctrines, man, you know, the Lord is going to put you to death. All right? The Lord is going to put you to death because you're not utilizing the mediator. All right, the scriptures let us know that Yahawashai praying for the elect, man. You know, the Yahawashai is up there, you know, constantly being a mediator on your behalf. When you go off, you got Yahawashai there, you know, um, um, pleading the case for you, okay, as a good lawyer. All right? And, and if you don't got that lawyer on your side, man, you're not... You're not going to speak to the judge correctly. Like, it's just like in the world, man. You, if you don't have a lawyer, you don't know the jargon. You don't know what you're supposed to be saying to the um to the judge. You don't know what type of lingo you're supposed to use. That's why you need a lawyer. In order the lawyer to speak the language, man. And Yahweh is our lawyer. Yeah, we're sinful. You know what I'm saying? We're covered in iniquity. But but through Yahweh you know, the Lord don't see the iniquity. He, he throw that away, man. All right? You know? Through Yahawashai, the Lord is able to look at us again. But if you don't go through Yahawashai, you're covered in sin. You're covered in sin. You're covered in death. You don't really care about the Lord. Okay? Because that's the one way he gave us to escape. You know? It's through Yahawashai. All right. Hey, Yahweh Shai, once again, we are justified not by the law. We are justified by Yahweh Shai, his sacrifice. You know, like I said before, man, the law is perfect. Okay. The law is perfect. And that's why we're going to be made perfect in those new bodies and that new covenant. Right. The law, statutes, and commandments going to be institched in our minds and we will never go off. You know, it shows you that the law is perfect. It's just us as a people that were imperfect, that, that love to sin, you know? And now we're subject to death unless you utilize the, the blood of Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And, and it's very important that you utilize the blood of Yahweh Shai, all right? This is not going to be no long lesson. This is just something that jumped on my spirit, man, and I had to say it, you know? I had to put it on wax, man. You gotta justify. You gotta um. <clears throat> you gotta justify yourself through your Yahushai. Okay, and you don't even supposed to be trying to justify yourself. You know, you know, you're justifying yourself is 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 of the world. Okay, you gotta be justified through the mediator, and that's your Yahushai, man. Okay. You know. The scriptures let us know that no man can come unto, unto the Father but through the Son. You know? No man can come to Yahawashai unless the Father sends you. So it's a closed knit circle. All right? And you got to trust in the Lord. All right? The faith is the gas in order to keep you moving. Okay? Hey, man, you, you got to understand the severity of this and knowing in your mind being fully persuaded that you cannot be justified by the law all right you cannot all right because if you if you think you're justified by the law then wearing mixed fabrics you you'll be put to death all right you don't know what they got in the food out here in this world man you don't know you know what i'm saying you don't own no textile mills you don't own no farmland okay so by that being said, man, you got to actually trust in the Lord 
that he will guide you and utilize the blood of Yahweh Shai when you slip, when you fall, you know? So hopefully this is edifying. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekach, Kodash, Lai, Yom. Double honors once again to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom, Yashorela, on to the next one. Shalom.